Hello YouTube. Today's video is about this little novel gadget up here, the BenQ Screen Bar. Let's take a look. Okay, so what does the BenQ Screen Bar do? It offers a solution to provide an even flicker-free light source for your desk to improve your viewing and e-reading experiences. Now that we spend most of our days in front of a display, upwards of 11 hours a day in fact, having a uniform light source is very beneficial in many, many ways. If we take a look at the spec sheet here that BenQ has provided us and the comparison between the screen bar and a traditional dimming LED light source, we find the following details. The screen bar aims to reduce glare, even on glossy displays. I've tested this out on an iMac. It doesn't glare at all, so that's very nice. It doesn't appear to have any glare on matte monitors either, like my BenQ PD2500Q. So kudos for that, very nice. We have eight brightness levels, up to a thousand lux at its brightest which is also auto-adjustable based on the amount of ambient light present. It offers a wide range of color temperatures, ranging from 2700 to 6500 Kelvin, as you can see in the comparison here, which is a range from warmer to cooler colors. So the lower the Kelvin number, the warmer the temperature is, or the colors are, and the higher the degrees Kelvin we have, the cooler the light is. So, it also offers space saving by being able to easily clip it on top of any monitor. It even uh, fits very well on monitors with curved backs like the iMac I mentioned and the PD2500Q, as well as just regular old flat uh, displays, no problem at all. And you only need one USB cable to hide away, so it's, it's a very clean solution indeed. It also aims to protect your eyes by reducing blue light emission, which in the end uh, prevents sleeping problems and eye strain. That's something that many people don't really know, but uh, blue light is definitely a hazard during the evenings. Definitely use blue light filters like I do. It is uh, definitely going to improve your sleeping habits for sure. So who is this product aimed at? Well, it's aimed at those who have poor lighting conditions at their desk, like myself, which I mentioned before. So their experience with working from home, consuming content, doing some reading and so forth is a lot more enjoyable. And uh, for a fellow techie like me, and probably you and my audience as well, uh, it's also very nice for tinkering because it provides a very nice direct light source over your desk. So if you have a laptop or something or electronics on your desk that you're trying to work on during the evenings and you don't have another proper light source to aim at it, you can just sit behind your desk, turn on the screen bar and have some light to work with. It's very nice. I've uh, been using it for a little bit and uh, I can definitely say that it's very welcome, especially during the darker months of the year for sure. It's also aimed at those who seek a way to reduce eye strain by spending too many hours behind a monitor. And uh, eye care has definitely been one of the key features that BenQ always offers on their products, also on their displays. So I think for people that know that already, it's pretty much a given, but uh, it needed to be mentioned anyway. So this basically concludes the short overview of the specifications and what the product can be used for and who is it really for. So without further ado, let's unbox the screen bar and see what it comes with in the packaging. And then we'll set it up and take it for a test drive. Okay, let's start by unboxing and seeing what we get with the BenQ screen bar. Let's see if we can get it out of the box. Very tightly packaged. Chinese looking instructions. Whatever this is for, let's put that aside. Here we have the main deal. Here we have the neatly packaged power cable. It is USB, of course. Here we have the monitor clip. And here is the light itself with all of the various controls that it has. Very nice packaging, by the way. I really enjoy it when they lay it out like this. Very neat. Just unwrapping the USB cable here. It's pretty darn remarkable, it's just a USB cable. It is a nice flat design, very smooth. And here we have the monitor clip. It is very heavy. This is definitely 
a quality piece of kit. This appears to be plastic. There's a very big amount of weight in here. This is probably the counterweight, so the monitor, uh, the light bar won't actually fall off of the monitor. So very nice. And here we have the light bar itself. Let's slide it out. This feels like it's metal. Here we can see all of the individual LED segments that this thing is comprised of. Here we can control the brightness, here we can control the color temperature. We have a power button over here as well. Neatly covered in plastic. It's probably piano finish under there. And yes, it is. Very reflective. And right here, smack dab in the middle, is the USB. So it'll sit on top of the monitor like that. USB cable coming out of the back and going right into whatever USB device you have that can power this. I happen to have a couple of BenQ monitors and uh, they have USB hubs installed. So I can just put it into the USB hub and be done with it. Your mileage may vary. So uh, let's go to installation and see how this looks on top of a monitor. All right, we got a test monitor. The instructions and all of the various components we'll be needing for this setup. The monitor I'm using here is actually not one of my uh, main monitors, the BenQ P2400Q. This is just a GW2480, a regular full HD monitor that will serve our purpose just fine. It's all about the experience, right? So, let's get this component here. We just basically need to attach this to the back of here. See if it's a slide deal. It is. Until it clicks into place. You just twist and slide it until the USB port comes through the hole here. You need to peel the plastic off of this before you can do that. And then it should just be a matter of hooking it on top of the monitor. So we'll see if that works. And it does. That's pretty secure right there. All right, neat. Now I need to leverage some USB power and we'll see if it works. All right, we're good to go for the test run. So let's press the touch sensitive button on the top. And there we are. Now that is quite bright, if I say so myself. Let's change the brightness settings. We can't push, we can't hold it, we can just go through it. Now it goes up and now it goes down again. Let's see, this is the bright setting. Yeah, this is brightest. That was the dimmest setting. Well, let's brighten it up a little bit. Looks good. Let's change the color temperature. That's very cold. Even colder. A bit warmer. Right, so this is the very warm setting. Oh, this is. This is even warmer. That's even warmer. That's even warmer. Ooh. Oh, that's neat. I like that. Oof, that's ice cold. I don't know how well that's picking up on camera, but that's remarkable. I think I prefer a more warm color, something like this. This might be a bit too much, but this is not just great for reading. By the way, in case you're wondering what I'm reading over here. There we are. It's also excellent to uh, work on some hardware on my desk now. Because the lighting in here is pretty terrible when it gets darker, and it's pretty dark now in late November. So this is a really good uh, addition to my setup for sure. Now I can just do some repairs on my desk as well.
even when it's dark. So there's also this other button. Which I'll actually need to check what it does. It goes brighter for a second, then it goes dim again. I think that's the automatic brightness setting. So yeah. And the button on the right turns it off again. So this is the base brightness when it's all the way turned off with our crappy background lighting. And once we turn it on again, we get a nicely lit work surface. Right, so that's as far as the demonstration is concerned about the BenQ screen bar. So, my conclusions on the BenQ screen bar then. Would I recommend this product? Well, yes I would. Build quality is very nice. They delivered on their promise of offering a flicker-free solution. The color temperature range is very much uh, accommodating to those who don't want a lot of blue light. So that's very nice. And um, it definitely gets more than bright enough. So in the end, I definitely recommend this product, like I said. If you're also interested in this product, visit the BenQ website, visiting the link in the description below. And if you're in the European Union, you can also use this Black Friday promo code, SCREENBAR5, you see it on your display right now. This code is valid from the 23rd to through the 30th of November 2020, and you'll get 5 euros off any product in the SCREENBAR series. Again, this code is valid in the European Union only. I thank BenQ for providing this screen bar. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Your regularly scheduled program will resume soon. And I thank you all for watching.